The high pressure pump is one of the most dependable components of a pressure washer, and pump packing is the sealant method used. It is important to keep your equipment in good mechanical condition to ensure longevity of the pump packings. If the pump packings need to be replaced because of a leak, this video will show you the proper steps to take to complete this task. Tools required for this project include a 3 8 inch ratchet, 5 mm Allen wrench socket type, hammer, 3 8 inch punch, pliers, flat blade screwdriver, foot-pound torque wrench, Vaseline or lithium grease. A pump packing kit consists of three brown high-pressure seals with a lip, three white washers, and three brass retainers. The first step is to remove the pump head. Using a 3 8 inch ratchet and 5 mm Allen wrench, remove the eight pump head bolts. If any of the bolts seem difficult to turn, or the Allen wrench slips, place a 3 8 inch or larger punch onto the face of the head bolt and hit the punch with a hammer. Tap the Allen wrench into the head bolt and remove the bolt. Gently pull the pump head off the crankcase and pistons. Do not twist or apply side pressure. Pull the heads straight off. Some packings may come off with the pump head. Remove the brass retainers using a standard pliers and remove the packings with a screwdriver. Take note on how the brown high pressure seal and white washer are installed so you can reinstall them correctly when repacking. The lip of the seal always faces into the pump head. Any packings and retainers that stay on the pump pistons or in the pump head ports can be removed by sliding them off the pistons. Now you are ready to replace the pump packing. First, lubricate the brown cup seal with lithium grease or Vaseline. Insert the seal, lip down, into the pump head port. Push the brown cup seal into the bottom of the pump head port. If the seal will not slide in, use a flat blade screwdriver to gently push on the outside diameter of the brown cup seal until fully seated in the bottom of the pump head. Install the white washer into the pump head. It will sit on top of the brown cup seal. Lubricate the black cup seal on the inside of the brass retainer and the O-ring on the outside diameter of the brass retainer. It is important that the lip side of the black cup seal is facing into the pump head port or you will have a water leak after installing the manifold and operating the machine. Insert the brass retainer into the pump head port, making sure the narrow side of the brass retainer goes into the pump head. Repeat the above steps for the other two pump head ports. Once the packings have been replaced on all three head ports, gently slide the pump head onto the pistons until it is flush with the face of the pump crankcase. Install the eight pump head bolts and tighten only until snug. Tighten the eight pump head bolts starting with the inner four bolts. Tighten them in a cross pattern and torque to 11 foot-pounds. Tighten the outer four head bolts, torque to 11 foot-pounds. Do not over tighten. Connect the water inlet hose, outlet high pressure hose, trigger gun and wand. Then test the unit to make sure repacking the pump solved the water leak problem.